wine tap tips. Uh, you're probably wondering why I have these forks with the hot sauce. Those of you who saw me on Facebook know that this is tonight's theme, balance. And like I said before, in the past, anybody can make a high heat index hot sauce. And then they soon learned that they needed to change the judging rules to 50% heat, 50% flavor. And they started submitting hot sauces of balance. And balance is what you want in your wine. Anybody can make a oaky buttery wine. But you need the acidity in that wine to offset things. You need fruit in your wine. And you do want minerality. It gives you that little sense of place. If you're drinking a sweet wine, anybody can make a sweet, fruity Riesling Moscato. But you, once again, want acidity in your wine to offset that sweetness. Now, don't worry, I'm not talking about adding lemon juice or sugar or blackberries to your wine. This is strictly visual aids for, for those of you who are out there and this is just for fun. Now, when we're talking about tannins, think of the tannins as this rock like this, this piece of iron ore, nice and heavy, look how rough it is. And a good winemaker, over time, you know, the tannins will smooth out like this. But also, a good winemaker might have it put it through, or put it through an electric fermentation. And it's like wrapping it up in this tie. So the only thing going across your tongue is the feeling of this tie. You feel the weight of this iron ore gently pressing down on your tongue as it goes across. You get all that fruit in the flavor. And that nice crisp acidity cleansing your palate and cutting through the food that you just had and that's what we're talking about when we talk about balancing your wine you want fruit acid tannin you want structure and as we've mentioned before you know malactic fermentation is to lower the acidity if the acidity is too high malactic fermentation is about creating balance in your wine, not making the only thing present in your wine. You don't want to lick a stick of butter, smear it all over your wood, or all over the all over a two by four. Anybody can do that. And remember, we mentioned that before that oak is there to act as a spice rack, as well as a reduction pan to make the wines more concentrated in flavor, to soften your reds as far as the tannins to go. So in conclusion, just like any dish that you would have on your, on your table, you know, we, we talk about wine being a food item and being balanced. That's what you want in your wine, a balanced wine. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining us. And here's to living a wild wine life. Yes, I have two forks balanced on a bottle of hot sauce. Why, you ask? It's to talk about or illustrate tonight's theme, and that is balance. When they were originally judging hot sauce contests, it was all based on heat index. And they soon discovered anybody could submit a high heat index hot sauce just like anybody could make a strictly oaky buttery Chardonnay. So they started basing it on 50% heat index, 50% flavor. Balance. And that's tonight's theme. Balance. So, like we were talking, you know, oaky buttery. Well, anybody can make an oaky buttery wine, 
but you still want and need fruit present in your wine. You still would like to have some of that minerality or that terroir present to give you that sense of place. And you need acidity in your wine to add the ability to allow the wine to cut through the food, to allow the wine to last longer, to make it something balanced. Anybody can make a sweet, fruity wine. Anybody can make a very sweet, over-the-top Moscato or Riesling. But people find that the best drink in Rieslings are the ones that have acidity with it. You know, the oak in your wine, when they use oak, should be the thing that reduces it down or rounds it off or softens those tannins. I mean, think of this iron ore rock as your tannin. And think of putting something through malactic fermentation and giving it a buttery feel. It's wrapping it up in a silk tie. And that the only thing that's going across your tongue as far as the feel is that soft silkiness. But you have all the weight gently pushing down. And that's what you should get from a well-balanced red is that softness, that seduction on your palate but with all that weight coming down. And you still get the fruit and the acidity that allows it to cut through the food and create balance. And that's what you want to look for in your wine. I mean, whether it's your rosé and you want acidity and fruit and aromatics, or your favorite Missouri red blend of Star Stark and Norton, and you want that sense of Missouri forest aromatics and then the fruit or a nice little Riesling. I mean you do need that residual sugar but you also want that acidity in that fruit. The, let's start over. Let's backtrack. Anyway, it's all about balance in your wine. On more than one occasion, I've talked to a restaurateur who will have, let's say, a low acid, high alcohol, and believe it or not, these high alcohol, low acid fruit bombs do have that residual sugar. And he goes, oh, I, I like mine more. And, and he said, well, just try something with a little bit of food, whether it's, I mean, you are a restaurant, try it with a piece of bread. And the moment he tries it with a little piece of bread or just anything from his menu, he's amazed at how the wine that he did have on his list that he was drinking initially as a cocktail all of a sudden disappears and loses its presence. And the wine that actually has the balance is the wine that he enjoys more. And it goes back to what we've discussed before, is that you should always view your wine as a food item. You look for balance when you create, when you cook your meal. And that's what you want in your, in your wine. You want balance. You want that fruit, the tannins, the acid. You know, you do want, believe it or not, low residual sugar in your in your sweet wines. You're talking less than a tenth of a percent of residual sugar in your dry wines in general. So, in conclusion, this is about balance. Or, if we want to have fun, we could say feng shui. The feng shui of wine. And that's what this is. So, whether you're talking about fruit, or just enjoying your nice little rosé, which you want that nice crisp acidity. We're not talking, and that's the other thing. It's just, let's start over again. Hello. Hello, I'm Ray.